Now to uh, health news and the wild swings we've been seeing in the weather yesterday, the 70s, today, the 50s, and some more ups and downs are on the way. So are we just bound to get sick? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here now to explain. Dr. Max? Well, you know, some myths just die hard, like going out in the cold with wet hair will get you sick, or up and down temperatures will do the same. You might end up uncomfortable if you, get, you forget to check the forecast, but you won't catch cold. Still, weather swings can affect other other health issues. Some roller coaster weather over the last few days. It's 23 degrees cooler than it was this time yesterday. Yesterday's crazy warm weather and people wondering whatever happened to crisp fall weather. Well, we only had to wait 24 hours to get a serious dip in the thermometer. Maybe not enough to call a cold snap, but it's still hard to know how to dress. It's the kind of roller coaster weather people say can give you a cold, right? I think people tend to layer up more, then you take the layers off, and so it can affect your health. I've had cold like that. She's actually right. Weather can affect your health, but not the way most people think. There's a whole new field called biometeorology, and the reality is weather, climate, temperature definitely can affect your health, whether it's from an infection point of view, an asthma point of view, heart attack point of view, blood pressure, mood, migraines. The answer is absolutely it can. So what about what most people blame on the weather? Colds and flu. No, I don't think so. The real reason we get sick when the weather changes is... We're indoors, we touch our nose, the viruses are, are growing, and we just transmit it. These are infectious organisms. That's why the flu vaccine has value. That's why washing your hands has value. That's why avoiding shaking other people's hands have value. Trying to avoid touching your nose and your face and your mouth so that you don't spread it. But temperature swings can have other effects on your body. With this fluctuations in the weather, you might get some swelling in your sinus passages that can mimic those feelings of being sick. And those are oftentimes related to allergies. So you can try over-the-counter antihistamines and nasal sprays before running to the doctor. A nasal rinse will help flush out allergens, and getting enough sleep is also critical to keeping your immune system working on all cylinders. So the weather could be sort of at fault, but, you know, kind of really indirectly. Yeah. I think it's my little kid sneezing in my face. That's that what it will, is. That will actually you know do I mean? it much more so than <laughs> the temperature. Like, no. like, what, Daddy? What? Yeah, what? What's wrong with that? <laughs> so we'll stick to the fist bumps during <laughs> lunchtime. Okay. So Cross the way. Thanks, Dr.